Hey everybody else, welcome back to my channel. It's Walanda. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the full tutorial on how I did my nails. You guys asked me over on Instagram for this tutorial and I decided to go ahead. You know why not? I still have the clip on my computer. Let me go ahead and show you guys the long version. These are my nails when I first started. Um, these are SNS as well. This is literally my go-to. I do do gel, Korean gel nail sometimes. That's my second, but predominantly I'm using SNS. First, I go ahead and take off my rings because I do not want my diamonds to come off. I don't want the, the glue to be removed once I am soaking my nails off. For the tools, I am going to go ahead and use my drill, my hand drill, electric hand drill, and the, mm, I do not know what course this is. I want to say number 80, but don't, don't quote me, but I got this generic hand drill from, it's noon over here. It's like Amazon for the UAE, even though we do have Amazon, but it's another form of online purchasing retailing stuff like that so i got this from noon and i got my drill bits from shein and it's just so much cheaper and easier just to get all my nail tools from shein i did do a haul with all the tools that i purchased if you guys haven't seen that haul i'll leave that down below or go ahead and just search my channel and it should pop up but basically what you have to do first is take off that thin top coating of top coat off of your nails or your nails will not soak off and this is the reason why i use sns because i want to soak off i don't want to drill anything all the way down to my nails i do not want to mess up my nail beds or ruin my actual nails so i went ahead and shaved off the top layer now to soak off my nails, I go ahead and warm up water for about 30 seconds in the microwave and I pour it in a bowl. I go ahead and use a Ziploc bag to pour my acetone in. I use 100% well you have to use 100% acetone in order for the material to soak off your nails and it really doesn't take long at all. Once it's all soaked off, I go ahead and yeah my nails look crazy but I go ahead and use a cuticle softener to soften my cuticles and this is very crucial to make sure your cuticles are pushed back your cuticles are removed and the dead ends or your dead skin is completely clear from your nails because this is how your sns or your dip powder are going to last long longer than a week longer than two weeks so i just take my time and clean up my nail beds and I don't think I showed it in this video, but I went ahead and clipped off any excess dead skin as well. Now the material that I use, like I said, I use SNS. I've just, I'm very fond of SNS, mainly because it has my favorite nude color that I wear all the time. Actually, the one that I just took off right before, like right in the beginning of this video is my perfect nude. So that's why I just went ahead and got the entire dip system from them. So I don't have to worry about if one company is going to be working with the other company when it comes to products and bonding on all of that. So I just stick to one company. You choose your company you want to stick to, but mine is SNS. So it's fairly simple. It's just very repetitive of what you do. So what I do is this purple top is a part of their system and it is their base gel. And this is what your powder is going to adhe adhere to. In order for your nails to not break and for your nails to be strong and have a great amount of thickness, I do go ahead and apply that gel up to the first two thirds of my nails. I do not start from my cuticles and I do not start from my tips. So I mainly put it above, like to the middle halfway, just a little bit above halfway. Because that's going to be the base, I just wanna make sure nothing is going to be split in in the middle or breaking off where it's not supposed to and start bleeding and start, I don't want any of that. So make sure your base is strong and place properly there are different ways to apply that first layer but because i'm doing my natural nails this is the best way for me so make sure you have a really good 
fluffy brush to make sure you take away all of those excess powder that is on your hand because you removing those powders is going to allow your nail to look less bulky you know when you go to the nail salon and you come out sometimes or you see on pictures and you see their their nails just look like like peanuts <laughs> it's just thick and the shape is not natural looking that is because there is a way too much um, powder on there and the technician did not do a good job removing as much powder as possible and basically shaping it the way it needs to be shaped and basically you're gonna do this up until you get the right thickness or the right color payoff that you like after practicing for a while now I've noticed my nails look good with three to four coats because I need that extra layer coat on top I think I went ahead and did four coats for this video one tip I realized that worked for me was me doing the other hand while the other hand that I just did remains powdery. I say this because you do not want to brush off the powder too fast because then it really didn't have the enough time it needed to sit on your nails and infuse with the powder. The gel and the powder didn't really have time to infuse together. And once you do that, it really hinders the strong or and longevity of the product on your nose. So I let it sit and I just do the other hand. And once I see that around my fingernails has powder, I know I need to dust it off. So that's another indicator that really helped me to make sure I stay very coherent with both hands. So this is the third layer I think I did. Yeah, this is the third layer I did. And on this layer, this is where I go ahead and add my flakes. This gold flakes I got from Shein as well. And I just pick a little bit of flakes and just place it randomly on my nails. Um, I don't have a specific way or a specific look that I go by. I just randomly put as much or as little as I want. But I like the accent of the gold. I like it looking like the gold is floating on my nails. And I just do basically the same step like I did before. I apply my gel base. And this time I make sure I go all the way up to just right under the cuticle because this is my last dip. Before I go ahead and drill, because that was the last step, now you have to seal everything in. This sealer I'm using makes sure that the product on your nails gets extremely hard. It's almost like, you know, when you're doing gel nails and you put your hands in the UV lamp in order to cure it. Yeah, this sealer kills, kills, <laughs> cures the powder you just placed and i apply this about three or four times because i just want to make sure for sure for sure that the liquid is going to penetrate the powder because if it does not then your nail will stay soft and when you go to file down drill down it's going to be a complete mess it's really going to rip off it's going to shred it's, you're going to know it's not properly cured so Make sure you apply as much as possible so the powder can cure. Now, I did not record me applying the top coat, but this is the base coat. I just go ahead and apply one coat of the base, cure it, then I go in and apply the top coat and cure it again. The base coat and top coat and the light that I'm using are from Madam Glam. I should have a coupon code from Matta Glam down below. If I do, I'll leave it. And the last step is me applying my oil, making sure my cuticle is nice and moisturized, hydrated, and I put lotion on my hands. Well, I wash my hands after everything. Then I put the cuticle oil, then I put lotion. So this is the final result. This is how I do my floating <laughs> gold flake manicure at home. Y'all, I just be sitting on the floor, chilling, watching Netflix, watching YouTube, and having a just little me time. And I don't have to worry about going to the salon. I just absolutely love this system because the removal process and the application process is so easy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys want to see some other nail designs that I do. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.